Comfort, comfort, comfort my people. Thus says the Spirit of the Lord in this blessed season of celebrating the Lord's birthday. Thanks for joining me on Healing Streams Reflection. The title for this post is Rejoice, Highly Fevered One. Luke chapter 1, verse 28. Surprising calls can evoke fears and questioning, leading to a desire for a sign before saying yes. Mary, the young virgin girl of no statues from the village of Nazareth, an utterly insignificant place, is signaled out, is called, chosen, and overshadowed with God's spirit. Her response moves from one of fear to total trust in God's mysterious designs. Mary's mission. You are highly favored. Luke tells us in chapter 1, verse 26 to 29, Mary was a virgin, and she was the fiancée of Joseph, who was a descendant of David. God's chosen of Mary was totally his grace. It was God's favor on her. But why was Mary greatly troubled at the words of the angel of the Lord and wondered what kind of greeting this might be? Luke tells us in Luke chapter 1, verse 29. Was Mary so afraid of God's favor? It's because she knew this favor will come with a high price and a cost. When God convicts us to do something, we know it is a blessing. At the same time, there is fear inside of us because we know the favor comes with a cost. Somehow, many people want God's grace and blessings, but they are not willing to pay any cost. Mary was listening. She heard the message of the angel and responded with an unconditional yes. We also can become filled with grace if, like Mary, we listen and respond with a resounding and unconditional yes to all that God wants from us. When favor comes our way, it's nothing that we earn or deserve. It is something that is supernaturally and sovereignly given by God. That is what favored by God means. What an incredible, again, what an incredible thing it is to be highly favored by God. What an awesome blessing it is. Mary was seeking to figure out what God meant. Please realize that Mary has faith that seeks understanding. This blessed season of Christmas, God knows all the answers. So, let's bring our questions to him, especially considering the COVID-19 pandemic challenges that took us by surprise. What an amazing answer from the angel. 
as a supporting proof of God's power. The angel said, even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she, who was said to be unable to conceive, is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. Luke chapter 1, verse 36 to 37. In other words, the angel is telling her not to limit God. After the angel explained that the power of the Holy Spirit will enable her to conceive, it was Mary's turn to give her final answer. Mary's final answer response was, yes, sign me up. Angel of the Lord, I'm saying yes. Send a yes answer to my Lord. And tell my Lord to sign me up. You can imagine her excitement of knowing that among all women, God called her to be the mother of Jesus. You wouldn't believe what Mary did next. Mary burst into a beautiful song called the Magnificat, even without studying music. More than that, the focal point of her joy was not because she was chosen to be the mother of Jesus, but because of knowing who Jesus is. The long-awaited Messiah was finally coming. My brother and my sister, during this blessed season of Christmas, hear the angel of the Lord saying to you, you are highly favored by God. And also say to yourself, I too, I am highly favored by God. And your church members or family members saying to you, you are indeed highly favored by God in spite of all these COVID-19 challenges that came your way. Like Mary, we too came into the world for a purpose. That purpose will be revealed to you and to me in a different way. Probably not as dramatically as it was to Mary. Perhaps she heard the word of God so clearly because she was comfortable with silence. I pray that in the midst of the emptiness and darkness within you and I, and even when your prayer and my prayer seems most arid, God help us to go daily into the quiet of our own heart to meet you and I there in love and in adoration. My brother and my sister, be reminded this day, this week, this season of Christmas celebration that nothing is impossible to God in difficult times. It is good to remember that God is fully in charge of your world and my world and our world. Everything happens according to his plan. Remember that God has already spoken to you that indeed I know the plans that are for you. Plans for you to succeed and prosper. Plans to enlarge your tent. Plans to 
to increase you, plans even to multiply you, plans to prosper you so that you succeed. There's always hope. There is always hope. There's always hope beyond our imagination. Our thoughts and our cherished aspirations. Yes, there's always hope. And it will be in your marriage. There is always hope. Yes, it will be in the academic pursuit. There is always hope in your single life. All you have to do is to open your eyes and see the heavens open, realizing that all those needs represented in your heart for the past years is being answered. Yes, there's hope in your finances because there's going to be cancellation of debt. Yes, there is hope. Yes, there is hope for you. I could see you getting healed. I could see you, your face, beaming with joy. Your face beaming with joy, unspeakable joy, knowing that you are highly favored. May the good Lord richly bless you and Merry Christmas to you all. Bye-bye.